One, two, can you feel the mutwako? Mutwako on a unkutli sabutoko. Mutwako on a one two go fata. Do I am Buma Seva? I hope you guys are good and welcome back to another review. This week we are in the Land Rover Defender 110 X Dynamic. Quite a mouthful. Very great car. Um, so if you're new here, welcome to the family. I hope you subscribe. And where have you been? Ntolikai, my seven. Ntolikai. Subscribe or more. But if you're returning, welcome back. Welcome back. Um, and yeah, the weather is absolutely bad. How am I wearing a sweater in September? Uh, nobody heated seats. It greets for me. So the Defender is the adventure SUV from Land Rover. The very uh, off-road oriented car the car that is um, known for having so much capability not just on tar but also off the beaten track um, very 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 good nameplate this defender nameplate um, and one of my personal favorites actually because I really think that it's one of the most striking and most unorthodox looking cars you can find and I love everything about it so on the exterior Obviously, you guys can see that there's whole Rugby World Cup uh, decals all over because um, they're the official sponsor of the Rugby World Cup. Um, so our test units have this all over it. But it, it, I'm not too mad at it. It, it, it looks great because it works. And um, the exterior is so striking. The presence is there. The road presence is absolutely amazing. You have the matrix LEDs with daytime running lights. Um, you have also the huge tire spare tire at the back which is very nostalgic because you know older cars from way back when older SUVs used to have the spare tire mounted at the back so I find that to be a really cool thing and you cannot miss that it's a defender it's just written everywhere defender 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 like defend me from my enemies defender it's just everywhere so it's striking it's large side mirrors are big you know um, headlights are big you know the tires are huge it's sitting on 20 inch all terrains like it's just this massive what is, is that a word be, be, behemoth it's just it's just huge it's massive through it's striking and i like this one a lot like the 110 is my absolute favorite so i think on the exterior look it's a very clean design a very striking design um it just has that very large and imposing and adventurous look so i think the exterior for me it's, it's absolutely beautiful moving on to the interior i think it's such a striking and nice interior very seamless very clean a lot of leather going on leather upholstery um all over the cabin and um the black roof lining obviously it's a very beautifully good, like done car i think it looks very nice um on the inside you have a bit of an analog digitized a digitized analog cluster which is actually works with the car with the nature of the car and the caliber of the car because it's so adventurous so very rugged and very old school but in a very modern kind of way you do have a multi-function steering wheel which i really do like not the biggest fan of this white contrast on the steering this white um material thing just looks a bit uh, kind of like just ruins the car a little bit for me and you have an 11 inch uh, infotainment system screen it might be small but it's actually functional and gets quite a lot of things done like it's it's, it's 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 smaller than the one in the range rover obviously it's significantly smaller than the one in the range rover but i think it works and i think it's fine you have this really odd gear lever <laughs> so it's so yeah so this is a robust and rugged old school gear lever you have so much um, connectivity space you have two usb ports in the front usb c and the normal one and you have another one on the passenger side um and like i said you can't miss that it's a defender because even on the interior hookway it's a defender 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 defend me from my enemies and when you move on to the rear you have a sufficient um space in the back I think this car is just very huge in size so it can fit um, a lot of occupants properly this is a five plus two seater configuration so this has seven seats there are seven um, the, the other seats are at the back they fold it down but I folded them up uh, I lifted them up and I saw that oh it's quite it's gonna be very hard for people to sit in there like I don't know why that that thing is those two seats are there but anyway um, but literally the interior for me is actually one of a very nice place to be in it's such a glass house a glass a greenhouse effect actually sorry it has a bit of a greenhouse effect like it's just 
so big and a lot of light comes in it feels like you're in something yo it's like you're disconnected from the world it's such a nice interior to be in it's like um yeah it's just really 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 cool to be in yeah so what is underneath the land rover defender 110 x dynamic so being the d300 this is a three liter turbo diesel uh, engine that produces 221 kilowatts and 650 newton meters of torque and it is just such a punchy such a a big and such a punchy engine actually it's very punchy um it moves when you put your foot down hardly any leg it just goes and for a car of its size i think this engine is mated to it very well and the synergy between the engine and the size of the car it doesn't feel laden doesn't feel cumbersome actually feels very light on its feet in actual fact it leans quite a bit on its sides and i think it's because it's more suited to be the off-roader it needs also to be comfortable off-road so on tar it wobbles nyana a bit it just goes like this nyana sometimes still very stable still has a lot of um still very stable but it just wobbles a bit and i'm just like hmm why does it do that so you need to be very firm with your steering and just be like you know because and it's a bit odd but yeah in terms of driving it's very nice to drive very pleasurable to drive it's quiet for that diesel it's not it's not that kind of diesel like that that one that's annoying it actually sounds really really cool and it's it's quiet insulated very well the cabin is so nice to be in um and it's just such a lovely car to drive in terms of fuel economy yeah no she's a gasla hey like yo utinuela diesel so yeah i've been doing about 12 liters per 100 k's um and i think for me if you're buying a car like this diesel is the last of your worries so I, I, I haven't been I, I've, I've been I've been suffering but I just like okay for the caliber of its car I can forgive it you know so yeah I think when it, upon arrival the full tank range was about 700 k's um, so currently I'm very low I'm going to have to go fill up now <laughs> um, but yeah it yielded me the, the week so I think in terms of efficiency it's, it's very subjective efficiency is very subjective when it comes to this vehicle so let's get into the full verdict so this vehicle is priced at 1.8 million south african rands and with all the extras that they've put on this unit you are looking at paying 1.9 million rands so just about a 100k worth of extras an odd 100k worth of extras right the defender is actually a very nice car to have on a daily and i think it's one of the perfect cars for people who have a very adventurous lifestyle and also are city dwellers you know you have that balance this is a car albeit it's very luxurious very premium it's a car that you won't be scared of taking off the beaten track you know it's going to carry you well off-road with all the tech and all the features of off-road stuff that you can do i mean you can even alter the suspension lift the body take the body down so if you want that you know so it has all the plethora it's, it's a great balance it's a great mix of ruggedness adventure and premiumness and luxuriousness so i think they've gotten that balance absolutely right and I, that's the reason why i say the defender is one of my favorite vehicles personally because the balance is just unmatched and i think that it's it's a very very good uh car with i mean i've only done it on tar yes i get that but you can you know the capabilities of a defender you know that you can just take it off the beaten track and hoy it they look at even on the road you still get to you still see old school defenders defenders from way back when so obviously this car has obviously forged a name for itself and it has been absolutely a stunner you know also when it comes to its fuel economy i don't think i would be very upset with it much because I feel like this car, if I had it, I'd do the school run if I had kids and go to work and back. And probably on weekends, I'd use something different. Or if I'm going off-roading, if I'm going to do some activity, uh, going maybe to the lollies. If not to the lollies, I'm going maybe camping or something like that, then this would work. So I think the Defender is actually one of the most perfect cars you can find out there. All right. Is the pricing justified? Is this car worth the 1.9 million rand asking price? Yes. The basic spec is very comprehensive. You get quite a lot. I mean, the only extras they spec on this one is like a few like ventilation, like climate control and very little things that they added to this thing. And you get quite a lot for your money um, just off the bat. Right. 
Um, so I think that it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a worthy vehicle. It's a worthy contender. I personally do not like the Defender 90 or Butuya Cat. So I'm not a fan of the Defender 90. I'm not a fan. I like the 110 a lot more. Um, I think it's the perfect balance. The 130 is also way too long. I got a short wheelbase V class. Yo, it's a yar. You, 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 you. Ah, this is fine. I think this is the sweet spot for me. I mean, obviously, you can go to the Defender V8, go all the way up to the the more high performance you want. But I think I can survive with this. You know, you get a lot of, you get a decent amount of output. You get a lot of power um, from the vehicle. You get fuel economy that's very expected and very subjective. So I think it is really a great, it's a great all round. It's a great package, right? And like I said, the only thing that I don't like about this car is the sound system. And the only thing, I, the other thing I also don't like is it's quite hard to maneuver the info, the, the digital cluster, like the buttons, like who you saw. So that's the thing in, in Tabang, because when you press here, like, yo, so I think it, I need to get used to it. But yeah, maneuvering around the digital cluster Munna, is just like, yo, it's just rocket science. So it's, it's, it's just that thing. But everything else, connectivity seamless with the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You have your heated seats. It's a comfortable car. The boot space is absolutely amazing for what the vehicle is. Um, you know, visibility is a little bit impaired below at the rear because of that huge tire. That's just... So seeing out the back sometimes is a bit of a trick it's it's very tricky um but ugh, man it, it's neither here nor there um so yeah so let's get into the rivals which is a bit tricky because i've been checking my research and websites say a lot of websites say a whole plethora of cars that have a lot of good off-road capability so let's say for argument's sake like i said on twitter um maybe the x5 the cayenne uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee and um, the, that new one, the Ineos Granadilla, Gren Gr Grenadia, Granadia. What? How do you say uh, Grenadia? That Ineos thing. I, I don't know, have much information on it, so but those kind of cars. Maybe the G wagon also. Maybe the G wagon. I think out of all the cars I'd mentioned, I'd get this. Maybe the Grand Cherokee. I love the Grand Cherokee. I think it looks really, really cool. And I've heard good things about it. I did hear that it's a bit of a guzzler though. But I mean, that's expected from the size of the car. And it looks very good on the road. I think I'd, I'd go for the Grand Cherokee. Um, X5, I would consider. But when it comes to BMW, I'm more of an X3 kind of girl. So the X5 is not something that would really capture me. Um, but it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a for what the car is worth, I think it's one of the most... Um, the most highly highly um recommended family suvs the x5 but for me this i think this is the pinnacle you have your adventure you have your lifestyle you are a bit of an outlier in this car you are so unique you you you, you are you're a bit different you know and i think that's why i think my heart is here because i love cars that are, are, are not the ones that people go for a lot when the world goes there i go there that's why <laughs> it from me Buma Seve. thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know what you would get between this defender would you get the defender 110 would you get the 130 would you get the 90 or would you get any of the rivals i've mentioned would you get an x5 would you get a cayenne would you get a grip uh, a jeep a jeep river your sequoia a jeep grand cherokee would you get a g-wagon what are you buying you know and what are your thoughts on the defender um, as a product, you know, let me know. Let's engage. Let's chat. But yeah, that is it from me guys Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Buma seven. Bye-bye Let me go enjoy my very big mummy car, you know <laughs> Oh Man, bye guys